All right, so coming in at number 12 on our base mod list is going to be the base light switch mod. So if we head over to our interior module section right here and we look all the way down, we can see that there is a new buildable called the light switch, a light switch that toggles the base's lighting state. So if we build this just anywhere in our base, it doesn't really matter. We just slap it right here. It kind of looks like a little remote when you put it down, kind of funny. So now that we have this switch built in our base, all we have to do is click it and we can turn the lights on and off in the entire base without having the power have to go all the way out for the lights to shut off, which, you know, it's a rather simple mod in nature but it is a little bit convenient and just a nice little feature to have since you know you can't really you don't have that option to turn the lights on and off so maybe it's like nighttime you're trying to go to sleep or something you want to turn the lights off or just you know you want to have the lights off in your base for whatever other reason you can now do that with this base light switch mod you just turn the lights on and off nice little convenient and simple mod to start us off on this list and with that we can move on to number 11. all right so coming in at number 11 on the base mods list we are going to be looking at a mod that changes the bulkhead so this is called the instant bulkhead mod and what this mod does is it changes the Vulcan by getting rid of the animation that plays whenever you open it, that super slow animation. That's all gone, so all you have to do is click it. Okay, and it's still in here. Why is my game always messing up? All right, let's try this again. So whenever I click on the bulkhead, it should just open the door instantly and no animation should play this time now that I fixed the thing. All right, there we go. Dang, that's, that's what should have happened the first time. It saves you the time of having to wait through that super slow and tedious animation that you have to do every time you want to close and open the bulkhead but yeah this is the instant bulkhead animations mod i feel like it could be a hit or miss with everybody because some people probably do enjoy like watching that little animation open the door and stuff because the animation i feel like it's needlessly long i feel like and that is number 11 on our list and with that we can move on to our next mod all right so coming in at number 10 on this list we have the more lockers mod so what this mod does is it adds a bunch of new lockers into your subnautica game that you can build so we if you head over to the interior module section right here you will scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see that there are multiple new lockers and storage things that you can put down so we have the long locker the tall locker the small crate open locker girl locker horizontal wall locker and the supply crate these aren't exactly like new since you know that you can find these in the regular game but you can't use them in the regular game all right so we have all our stuff placed down so starting with the long lockers right here we know are these the long lockers yeah these are the long lockers so we open these we can see they have a, a massive amount of storage because it's like essentially two lockers in one. So big old amounts of storage right here. Super awesome right there. Then we have the regular tall lockers, you know, t some tall storage, tall looking storage at least. That's nice. We got our small crate right here. Oh no, this isn't a small crate. This is a, uh, I don't know, this is a small crate, my fault. So we got a small crate right here. Has some pretty amazing storage as well, especially considering t it's a small crate. So you wouldn't think it'd be able to hold that much, but you know, we have a open locker right here, essentially the same as the tall locker and the open locker with a girl picture in it. Same as the tall locker and the open locker. And then we have our wall locker lockers right here i think this one might be my favorite to be honest we can actually rename the wall lockers so that's a plus and they have some decent storage right here for us that's nice and then we have our small container right here it gives you seven new uh storage containers slash lockers to work with and put in your base so you don't have to be looking at the same two really basic wall locker and then the regular old locker you know you actually have a lot more options when it comes to lockers and customization and it came in at number 10 on this list and with that we can move on to our next base mod so the next base mod that we have on today's list coming in at number nine is going to be the base clocks mod so what this mod does it adds two new clocks to your base that you can build so we head over to the miscellaneous section right here and we look down we can see there's a new analog clock and a digital clock that we can build now you can build the digital clock you can build both of these clocks in the like in your regular base and you can also build them in your cyclops and other vehicles that you can build stuff in so we can see that we have our clocks right here and they're counting down. Now there's two cool things about this, these clocks. So one, if we look at this clock, we can see it shows it's like 440, which is not the time in real life for me at least. And I just reset the time, so now it's back to 12. So it can show both the time in your Subnautica game and it can also show the time in real life if you click the clock like so now it changed to the real life time so real life time for me right now is 11 13 in the morning yeah you can toggle between the real life time and the game time in case you know you're up late playing some or something like that and you don't know what time it is because your eyes are glued to the screen you can have this digital clock to show you that you need to go to sleep or something and you can also build this clock on the interior of your base you can also build it on the exterior as well so if we come out of here we just grab the digital clock and we put it right here you can build these clocks on the exterior of your bases all pretty awesome Awesome, so you don't have to head inside of your base to check the time you can just put like a clock outside so yeah another rather simple mod yeah you know pretty awesome so yeah that was the base clocks nine base clocks nine what did i just say <laughs> 
That is the base clocks mod coming in at number nine on today's list. And with that, we can move on to our next base mod. All right, so coming in at number eight on our base mod list, we have the visible locker mod. So another rather simple mod. A lot of these mods are super simple, but anyways, what the visible locker mod does is it gives you the ability to see into your locker. So it only works with the, where's it at? with the large locker right here. So this little base game locker that we see, like the sort of black looking one that's got glass and you can see through. This is the only locker that this mod works with. If you have like a modded locker or something like that, like this one, it won't work with this one because you know, it's modded. But whenever you put stuff in that locker, you will be able to see it on the shelves. So now if we look in this locker now, we can see that there's the egg. There's the creature egg that I just put in there. We can see the white tablets up there, titanium. We have some knives, a whole bunch of stuff that you can now see inside of your locker. Nice little attention to detail that can really like enhance the overall look of your base since you can't ever really see into the lockers. And it also helps because it shows you like what's actually in the locker. So you don't have to go into the locker just to see what's in there or you don't have to see like how many items you have in there. You can just simply take a look in the locker with your eyeballs and see what's all in there. But yeah, that is the Visible Lockers mod, another rather simple mod, really nice mod that enhances the overall appearances of your lockers and your base. And with that, we can move on to our next base mod on this list. All right, coming in at number seven on our base mods list, we have the Cyclops Docking Bay mod. So what this mod does is it essentially adds a new, an entirely new, it, whoa, what happened to my voice? It adds an entirely new exterior buildable that you can build on your base. So if we head over to the base pieces section, we can see that we have the Cyclops Docking Hatch right here, a module for the, the module for mooring the Cyclops to a base, allows quick, quick base Cyclops transitions, blah, 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 blah. All right. So you can attach this to, I believe, yeah, you can't put it on the multi-purpose room, but you can put it on these little, like the eye modules or eye compartments right here. So that's mainly where you're going to be able to put this. So let's just put it down right here. And now we can see that we have a little Cyclops docking bay module. So all you have to do is take your Cyclops and drive it right over. You have to put like the front hatch right over this little tube right here, and it'll automatically dock with your base. So let me demonstrate. And now my Cyclops is automatically moving because I'm not moving it on its own. It's sort of like trying to dock itself. All right, and now the Cyclops is now docked. It plays like a little animation. You can't really see it fully, but whenever you start to get close to the Cyclops docking hatch, it'll automatically like pull you in on its own. And then you won't really be able to control your Cyclops anymore because it'll just be like on a constant path to dock itself. So that's a nice little detail. And now we can disembark the Cyclops and it'll put me straight in my base. Boom. And now we can see the Cyclops is docked, energy is at 100% and it'll keep updating that because it'll recharge your Cyclops, you know, whenever it's docked with your base as it would if you had like a Seamoth or a Prawn to dock. This is the Cyclops docking bay mod. It gives your Cyclops a, you know, like an actual dedicated spot that you can put it instead of having to put it just like in the middle of nowhere next to your base. And with that, we can move on to our next base mod. All right, so coming in at number six on our base mods list, we have the decorations mod. A little more vague, but it does add a lot of, a lot. <laughs> of stuff to your game. So the base decorations mod essentially overhauls your entire base by giving you like a big old variety of stuff that you can choose from and make in your base now. So if we head over to the millennium, millennium, if we head over to the millennium, if we head over to the miscellaneous section, gosh, we can see that there's a bunch of new stuff that got added into the game through the decorations mods. We have all these new sofas. So we got that. We have the customizable picture frame, Cyclops toy. We got a whole bunch of new toys, Cyclops toy, Seamoth. We have a cat, forklift, prawn suit, pedestal, specimen analyzer, lab cart. I mean, there's a million different things that, that this mod adds into the game. Aside from all the stuff that gets added in the miscellaneous section, we can also head over to the interior module, scroll up, and we can see that there are so some new fabricators here. So we have the seeds fabricator and the decorations fabricator. The decorations fabricator, you only use it to make decorative items. And then with the seed fabricator, you can essentially make every seed in Subnautica. You can make every single plant from the game. So you can make all the trees, tropical plants, air plants, so all the plants on land. This includes all the crazy ones too, like the bulb zone anchors. You can also get those. You can see the grassy plateau grass. And then if we head over to the decorations fabricator, it's the same thing over here. We have every single decorative item in the game that we can now craft on all this stuff. We have all all the creature eggs, office supplies, the lion dolls, ton of new stuff that you can customize your base with. Oh, I almost forgot. It does add a, it also adds a lamp to the exterior module section that you can put on the inside of your base. And you can also put it on the outside of your base. So a super awesome mod, hence why it made it a little bit higher on the list. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so coming in at number five on today's base mod list, we have the Altera turret mod. So what this mod does, whenever you head to the mis miscellaneous section of your habitat builder, you show all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see 
This new Altera turret, a turret designed for base protection, is specially made for playing with the Persistent Reaper mod. I don't even think this turret drains any power either. Like, you just slap it down and it sort of just turns on. So whenever you put this turret down, it'll automatically start looking for, you know, any hostile creatures in the area. And you can configure this turret to make it shoot at specific things. So if, we hit, so if you hit Escape and then head to your Options and then go to the Mod section, this turret has its own little section right here. You can change the projectile damage, speed, how long the projectiles like follow creatures. You can change the vision of the turret. Uh, I'm not sure what the volume is. And then we can choose what it targets. We can do ampules, stalkers, bone sharks, sand sharks, crab squids, warpers, sea dragon, ghost leviathan, and reaper leviathans. You know, just the main super scary hostile creatures. So let's just spawn in four and with these bone sharks in. Now light the bone sharks up. And they do a pretty good amount of damage. And with that, we just watched all those bone sharks get cooked. So yeah, not so much a decoration mod, but rather a defense mod that helps you keep, you know, hostile creatures and annoying stuff away from your base. Especially if you build like a small base or outpost in like a dangerous biome, these turrets can be especially useful. So yeah, that is the Altera turret mod. Super awesome mod, and it's far different from basically every mod on this list. So it's super unique, hence why it made it this far up. And it also is one of the few mods that adds the turrets into the game, you know, an actual defense to your base. And with that, we can move on to our next space mod that sand shark is eight miles away and you're trying to shoot at him relax all right so coming in at number four on today's base mod list we have the sleek bases mod now i'm going to show you a picture of like a vanilla looking subnautica base and then i'm going to show you the sleek bases mod so one of the first changes that you can see that the sleek bases mod does is to the foundation so we can see all the way over there you can see that like the little um that little gray slash black part of the foundation is right there in the base game. But whenever you have the this mod installed, it changes it to white to sort of match the entire foundation. It makes it look a lot better. And on the large room, this little part right here that I'm looking at, I know this used to be blue, but the sleek bases mod installed, it changes it to just a clear white to match everything else in the base and makes it a lot gives it a lot cleaner look you know so it doesn't like it's trying to do too much at one time and one of the biggest differences slash changes that this mod adds is the lights of the base so a lot of the lights that you can see now are a lot more uh amped up i guess you can say because before like in the base game the lights are a little bit damp i would say and some of these lights are actually a different color so if you head on the inside of the base and you look up the lights on the roof are blue in the base they are not blue in the base game they are white in the base game and they're blue after you install this mod makes everything look a lot cleaner the blue lights look way better in my opinion at least they look way better than the regular old white lights but yeah the sleek bases mod gives your base a very maybe not very much needed but it does give your base like a, a really nice enhancement by changing a bunch of the smaller stuff to make everything look a lot better change the lights especially to make everything look cooler and it makes your base match a lot more a lot of subtle changes that you know enhance the overall appearance of your entire base so really nice mod and i really do like this one and with that we can move on to our next base mod all right so coming in at number three on today's base mod list we have the resource monitor mod so what this mod does it adds a entirely new buildable to the inside of your base so if we look at the interior modules we can see that we have a resource monitor large and a resource resource monitor small you can put this in your you know your regular base or you can also put it in the cyclops i think you can put it in the cyclops let me go test it real quick uh yes you can you can put it so you can put it in both your base and your cyclops super awesome so the resource monitor is one of the most simple mods on this list but it's also one of the best ones so what it does is it shows you a big old list of all these stuff that you have in your base no matter where you put this resource monitor so we can see this room has absolutely nothing in it but this is all these stuff that's in the lockers over there so we have our titanium knife habitat builder etc so it'll show you everything that you have in your base and it'll also show you how much you have of each item so really really big level of convenience this mod adds and it also looks nice too you know just having this big old screen showing you all the stuff that's in your base so it adds to appearances it gives you a big old level of convenience and you can also pick up any of the items that you want if you just look at it and you just click if I just click on any of these items, it'll just pick them up straight out of the little thingy. Yeah, resource monitor, super simple mod. And again, it works in your Cyclops as well. So yeah, that was the resource monitor mod. And with that, we can head on to our next base mod. All right, so coming in at number two on our base mod list, we have the pictures from database mod. So the pictures from database mod is a really, really simple mod, but I really do like it because it adds a new option for wall art in your base. So all you have to do is hit the pictures. And whenever you open this to like put a picture on your you know, picture frame, if you go to your data bank and you click on any of the data boxes, data boxes what? If you click on any of the, um, you know, like data entries and whatnot, it'll automatically transfer that to, you know, the screen of the picture frame. 
it does not work with modded stuff though because you can see i'm clicking on like the abyss beluga it's not popping up back there it only works with vanilla stuff so let's just click on the where to go cyclops if you click on the cyclops you can see that there's the data box entry for the cyclops right here and it pops up on this little picture right here and it'll stay right here and it looks super cool the data bank entries for each of the little um items in this game all look super awesome not new background but you know with the backgrounds being a nice little blue color and then having it have that like super techy type appearance to it looks super awesome let me put a creature up there actually do i have any creature scan nothing nothing cool either way this mod can make for some really nice decoration for your base you know maybe you have like a um you know like let's say i have like a nuclear reactor right here i can put like a nuclear reactor picture like this right on the wall to show like hey look this is the nuclear reactor in detail all broken down and stuff super awesome looking or you can do the same thing with creatures so if you have like a room with a bunch of alien containments or aquariums you can put there's a lot a lot of stuff you can do with this mod hence why i put it so high and substituted it this high because you know there's not many options for wall art in this game aside from like the posters and other pictures that you take throughout the game but these super high techy looking pictures that you can get from the databanks and put them on the wall you know that's super awesome to do and with that we can head on to our number one spot but first i want to hit a honorable mention that did not make the list but i still wanted to mention it just because all right before we go on to the number one base mod in my opinion we're going to look at a honorable mention which is going to be the base legs remover mod so we can see all these super long looking you know like pipe type things you know the legs of your base that usually pop up every time you build a base but sometimes these base legs can look a little bit ugly especially when they're on these modules over here like the multi-purpose room modules the eye compartment modules they only look really good on the foundations because they actually make sense here so with this mod you can actually remove all the base legs if you want so if we open our options go to mods and we'll see right here we have the base legs removal so you can pick which base modules you want to remove the legs for so we have the foundation you can remove the legs for and now they're all gone over there which but i don't want to do that so we're going to get rid of the ones for all the corridors and the multi-purpose room and the moon pool the moon pool and the foundation legs are the only two i wouldn't remove because those actually look cool everything else i'd probably get rid of so now we can see we have a lot more room down here and it doesn't look all junky with all the freaking pipes sticking out from the bottom of the base and whatnot so a nice little small small little change that you can apply to your base to improve its little look but i would leave some of the base legs on otherwise it's not going to make any sense you know your base is going to be floating in the middle of the water and it's going to look really weird but yeah that is the base legs removal mod and with that we can move on to the number one spot for the top base mod in subnautica all right coming in at number one for the best base mod in subnautica or the top base mod whatever same diff is going to be the true base colorizer so the true base colorizer adds a new interior module that you can build in your base so we head over to the interior module section scroll all the way down to the bottom we have this new base colors monitor this monitor will allow you to change the colors of your base and we already have one down right there so when we go up to this base colors monitor right here we can see we can change the base exterior color the module exterior color so the color of exterior modules like thermal plants uh solar panels etc we can change the color of our base glass. We can change the color of these lights. We can change the interior module colors. So things like lockers, the modification station, nuclear reactor, bioreactor, etc. Those things you change the color of. And then you can change the overall interior of your base. And you can also rename the base. So let me just show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to change the base color exterior. It's usually to black. I'm ready to go with like a brown and black. So we change the exterior color of the base to black. And we can see outside our base is now black. Super nice. We can change the color of the exterior modules. We're going to change that to like a little blue color almost all right so we can see we have some thermal plants down and they are that nice blue color that i changed them to don't worry and y'all are going to see the vision in a few seconds all right now we're going to change the color of the glass to brown all right there we go base color the color of the glass of our base is now changed to like this sort of brown slash amber color because it's the closest color i can get okay now we're going to change the base interior change the base interior to black that's real moody i like that i like that color all right module interior is going to also change that to that nice blue color that we had on the outside so we're gonna have a nice little blue color and then the lights we're gonna change those to brown as well now we have a nice black brown and blue color scheme throughout our entire base we can see the interior modules also change the nuclear reactor all this stuff changed color and then if we head to the outside of the base so the true base colorizer gives you a really like really deep level of customization that you can do with your base that a lot of other mods don't really give you because some mods let you let you do stuff like this but they don't do it to the level that this mod does overall your entire 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 base with this mod and just make it look super super fantastic it does not seem to change the color of modded items though so we can see like i have my base clocks right here but they also didn't change color stuff of that nature so just keep that in mind like yeah that is the true base colorizer mod it is the last mod on our list and it made the number one spot for the top base mod in subnautica in my opinion at least 
piece because I really like I really like my colors and I really like being able to change all those colors, especially the glass. Because when you change the glass, it sort of looks like it's got like a little force field around the base instead of it just being like a really basic looking glass. And uh, yeah, other than that, that is about all I had for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.